Winston Churchill once said, air power may either end war or end civilization. Keep this in mind, as we discuss today, China's H-20, a stealth fighter supersonic jet, and what it means for the air dominance. My name is Dr. David Wallalu. And my name is Dr. Ross Stewart. And you are watching Geopolitics in Conflict. Be the change you want to see in the world. We have a brand new Patreon membership that you can join today. As a patron, you are now part of something bigger than yourself. The world is a global community now. Only the mainstream media hasn't caught up. They aren't sharing the news that you deserve. You can help us bring the world onto the same page by supporting the show. Not only do you become part of a larger global solution, but you get some important perks as well. Please check out the link in the description box below. David, you and I frequently talk about China and its impressive uh, building of infrastructure. That's correct, Ross. You know, we might change the topic today and talk about their air power and what they're doing there. Wow. Well, that would be interesting, huh? Well, you know, the this, this, this stealth fighter supersonic jet with, with your military background, what do you think is going on here? What is the implication? Well, that's correct, uh, Aras. Uh, uh, China just announced, uh, even though they are not disclosing this, saying, no, they didn't announce that, because <laughs> that's normal. Uh, they're announcing about the uh, uh, H-20, which is uh, uh, a stealth fighter uh, supersonic jet. Uh, basically, China has moved... China has made some stride in, in the military technology, from the drones to submarines, and now with the stealth technology. And basically, what do I make of this? It's a game changer. And I will use the term game changers, because the only two nations that are known for their superiority when it comes down to stealth... Russia. Russia. And the United and States. And the United States. Now, China is added to the mix. They joined the club. Yeah, big time. It's a game changer. And how do you see this playing in terms of uh, the United States involvement and the South China Sea? Well, this one, as we said, it's a game changer on many levels because now you're going to have to thank you uh, as a, 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 an entity that want to engage China militarily. You're going to have to think now twice. Especially oh, yeah. with it, because stealth technology, uh, remember, just to briefly, without going into the specifics of it, the stealth technology usually can evade radars altogether. So, which means it can be on enemy territory without even a radar discovering that stuff. So, that's basically what it means. So, for China, uh, this is a big, big, giant step forward. Mind you that China has already improved other type of fighters like J-20. Well, J-20, based on some analysts, uh, it can literally succeed or perform better than F-22s, the U.S. Wow. F-22s and F-35s. You know? And here is one story about, if I may, uh, share the story about the J-20, how it came about. And the way it happens was uh, way back when Bob Gates used oh, to be... Oh, Secretary of Defense. Secretary of Defense, that's correct. And during a trip to China, uh, uh, when Bob Gates gets over there, the Chinese surprised him with the J-20 flight. Well, the intelligence community in the U.S. and the West, for that matter, weren't able to even know about the program it existed. Wow. That's how shocking and surprising. This is why China didn't say much about the stealth uh, supersonic jet, they now produce the H-20, it's called H-20, uh, nobody knew about. They kept it under wrap, till now announced it. So, which means now China will be in a position to level the playing field 
when it comes down to air superiority. Well, you know, these, these stealth programs are very, very expensive. How did China manage this? Well, that's a, that's a good question, Ross, because the simple answer is that China didn't spend trillions of dollars on foreign wars. What China ended up doing is investing that money in a military apparatus. That's how they were able to improve their capabilities militarily. You know, we keep being impressed how China goes after the business and the United States goes after weapons and war. That, that's, that's the name of the game. So they are thinking in terms of where do we want to invest the next trillion dollars? You know, do we want to go to some far land and, and spend, squander the money over there? Or do we want to keep the money inside the country and rebuild and reinvest it right inside the country? And apparently they decided to go with the latter. That's why you don't expect China to open up bases, military bases around the world. They're not going to do that. Um, but what you're going to see is you're going to see a major improvements regarding the military technology, which they already, this stealth, this H-20 stealth fighter uh, uh, jet, is a reflection of that. What do you see the implication for all of us of this change is? Well, it depends. If you're talking geopolitically, uh, this one will have a major geopolitical implications. First of all, it's an indication for now the landscape, geopolitically speaking, when it comes down to air power, has shifted. You know. Second, it's basically that China sending uh, a message to the U.S. and the West when it comes down to some hot geopolitical issues like Taiwan, like South China Sea, like the Pacific realm. So basically, uh, uh, what the United States or, or any entity that wants to engage China militarily now, they're going to have to think twice about it. Or three times. Or three and, times. And maybe not do it. That's correct. But just one thing to let you know how China came about uh, this particular uh, uh, stealth uh, uh, supersonic jet China used the Russian technology, the Soviet Union back then in the 50s and 60s, mm -hmm. and they improved on it. The reason they improved on it, because back then, China didn't have enough money. Mm. China wasn't where it is today. Yeah. So, and and uh, mind you that, as we said earlier, there were only two countries that can dominate the skies, the Russians Russia and, and the, the Americans. Ice. Not anymore. For Russia, they have uh, what they call the TU-23M, uh, uh, it's called the Russian bear. That's yeah. a nuclear bomber. And uh, then the, uh, uh, basically they had, uh, if I am, uh, the TU-160. Uh, the United States has about three. It has a B-1, has a B-2, and now they have what they call the uh, B-21. That's going to be. And now you add the China to the, uh, to the uh, equation with the h 20 uh, uh, H-20? Uh, no, no, Stealth no. Stealth fighter? Stealth fighter, yeah. that's correct. Okay. So now you get three superpowers are on the lo uh, even playing fields when it comes down to the air dominance. So I think the conclusion for today is that the air, for air power, the field is being leveled. Russia, the United States, and China. China. And mind you, uh, just if I may add this, uh, uh, Ross, uh, with this technology, you're going to have to consider the space. And China, of course, not just China, but even the United States, and usually the military dimension to space is not discussed much because by its nature, uh, you don't disclose that. The reason right. being because uh, if you are able to improve your military capabilities that are managed from space, what are you able to do? You are able to blind the satellites that can <laughs> guide everything else. So, as a former military myself, I do see those dimensions for China playing that, because the United States is already doing that, the Russians are already doing that, so why not China is going, is going to do that? But China also, this H-20, this uh, 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 type of uh, supersonic uh, jets is just the beginning. Because what you're gonna because remember, 
to create or to produce a stealth fighter, it's very costly. Oh. But again, this is where China comes in as far as planning. Uh, rather than spending money on foreign wars, they decided to invest the money into creating or producing stealth. level playing field. Yeah, creating that stealth technology, and rightly so. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay informed. Till next time. Bye bye.